everybody in this building has. Amen. The Bible says that everything that has breath. Breath. Praise you the Lord. All right, I want to make sure we all got breath. All right, I want everybody, amen, to take your pointer thing and stick it out just like that. Everybody got a pointer thing. Let me make sure everybody got a pointer thing. Amen. I don't see pointer things there, but everybody got a pointer thing. Now take that pointer thing and put it right between your eyes and say, I found my problem. Thank you. 
to, to make the spirit move. Yeah. Flex the yeah. spirit. Yeah. Now, so I, I'm like, I'm like, Lord, you, you told me I'm more than a conqueror. Yeah. I said, I believe it. I said, Lord, you told me I can I can tell anything to go that's not of you is going to be in the name of Jesus. I said, Lord, you told me, you told me I was delivered. Yeah. From, from all drugs in the name of Jesus. And when you said you told me, you said I was delivered. Yeah. yeah. In the name of Jesus. So yeah. I said, yeah. I said,
good fish. So he had his fish, hallelujah, by Monday night. I just thank God because I had to pray and ask God. Lord, you know. Lord, you know. Yes, he knows everything. He knows what's going to happen and what's not going to happen. But I just thank the Lord in Jesus' name. I just thank you for waking me up this morning. Hallelujah. I just thank you for praising my life.
what you do for Christ will heaven and earth is going to do what? Pass away. But God's word is going to stand. Now there's two things that every person should be aware of Amen. in this season that we're in. Amen. One, this world is passing away. I mean, so they have their things that are changing every day. Come on and give God some praise for being a part of the church. Come on and say hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, don't freeze me, don't freeze me. See, there's some folks don't believe in change. They're going to lock you into what they know about you yesterday. They're going to lock you into what they know about you last year. But how many know every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before? Somebody need to give God some praise for the change in your life. Come on, give God some praise for the amazing rest. I want to know. But I also thank God that I see his word being performed in my life. Then I thank God that his word remains forever. Come on and say hallelujah. If God said it, he will bring it to pass. If he prophesied it, you can just give him praise for it in a day. If anybody got a word from the Lord, you want to just give him praise for it. Amen. As we prepare to worship the Lord with our tithe and our offering, Amen. looking to the Lord in faith, my faith looks up to thee. Yes. My faith looks up to thee.
that all things, amen, begin with children. Amen. How many know when God made man, he was a man and not a boy? Yes, Lord. Come on and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Know that God's desire for you to rejoice in the end of the thing. Amen. Even if you don't understand the beginning. I wish I'd get somebody to thank God for your maturity in him. I wish I'd get to thank God for your growth in him. Hallelujah. God don't see you in the beginning, and that's it. He see the end product. Amen. How many know we are his workmanship? We ain't in Christ Jesus unto good work, which before of old were ordained that we should walk in them. I'm just trying to encourage you today that God got a plan for your tomorrow. Let me go back to somebody and say, my best is yet to come. My best, my best. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Throughout this year, we've been dealing with this same thing, ask for more, yes. when? In 2024, ask for more in 2024. And the acronym ASK, we broke it down to asking, everybody say asking, asking. Seeking. seeking, seeking, knocking, knocking. amen. And uh, in this year, we want you to remain in that understanding. Do not accept no, do not accept it's not time, do not accept wait. Amen. Because God has come to your place. He is where you are. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Anybody free enough to ask God what you want? Anybody free enough? Amen. Amen. To seek God for what you need. Anybody amen, free enough to knock on the door? And say, God, I'm down here praying. Yeah. And I'm waiting on you. Yeah. And can't do nothing until you come. Yeah. Come on, help me have a good life for the Lord. Asking, seeking, knocking. Our scripture text, Luke chapter 11 and verse number 10. Amen. I want you to get in your spirit. Amen. I want it to be tattooed on your mind. Amen. I want it to be in every part of your daily existence. Yes. Luke 11 and verse number 10. Come on, let's read together. For everyone that asketh, receive it. And he that seeketh, find it. And to him that knocketh, it shall be. Do y'all believe that? Yes. yes. that we live in. Now you can sit here and don't participate and this moment will pass you by. But God is doing something in this entire season. Amen. He said in the last days. How many know we live in the last days? I'm going to pour out my spirit upon all flesh. That means Amen. The Bible says, brethren, I can't 
count not myself to have apprehended. I realize that I'm not at my state of the end yet. Yes. Amen. How many know the devil will make you think this is the end? Yes, amen. He'll make you think that, you, that it's never going to change. It's always going to be like this. You, you might as well give up. There's some people who have given up a desire to live because of all the hell amen. that they're going through. Yes. Amen. They walk into the valleys and the shadow of death. Yes. But they fear, they even anticipate evil. There's some people that are in your view, that are in your area of influence, that every day they wake up, they're looking for things to be worse. They say stuff like this. Amen. You know, don't nobody care. It's going from bad to worse. Do y'all know folk like that? Come on and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm explain a few of to you. Don't you know most senators? of the United States of America, most representatives, amen, amen that are supposed to be, amen, legislated for your good, when they meet together, they meet together with an understanding that we're going into a fight. We are not going to agree. All I'm going to do is try to get a little bit of what I desire. And if they give me what I want, amen, I don't care what everybody else needs. But that's why you can't rely on the politicians. That's why you can't rely on the government. And don't you know there are police officers that have been assigned to your neighborhood to protect and serve, but instead of protecting and serving, they just want to get home. And instead of doing what's right, they shoot first and ask questions later. Amen. And I can't blame them, amen, for being scared. Because if I didn't know God, I'd be scared too. Amen. And how many know God have not given us the spirit of fear? But a love of power and a sound mind. I just come to tell you, don't worry about what's not yet. Brethren, I count not myself to be apprehended by my past. I know it's not yet, but I got a fear. Anybody got that same feeling? It's going to be all right. And then you go back to what your neighbor and say something. Say, I got a feeling. I, 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 I got a feeling. It's going to be all right. Hallelujah. Now, Mother Roy, you know when you have certain kind of trauma, amen, your body will, amen, give you warning when trouble will come. There's some folk that had trouble in their knees. Hallelujah, and because of Arthur in their knees, because of inflammation in their knees, that water, amen, will sit when there's moisture in the air. If there anybody know sometimes your knees can be a good weather man. Come on and say hallelujah to God. Amen, sometimes the trouble that you had in the past, God assigned it to be an alarm for what's about to happen. Amen. Sometimes you don't even understand that God has given you a sensitivity to the trouble that's about to happen. And so you will look at your family and you will say, y'all need to be prepared because trouble is on its way. Why? Because I know he didn't bring me out of it just for me to die in it. And he didn't bring me out of it so I can come out by myself. God has given me and I'm going to sound the alarm. It's time to give God praise. It's time to give God the glory. Hallelujah. There's an alarm coming on. There's a warning. Every spirit-filled person has been given a sensitivity to the move of God. Amen. There's such an award, a warning going on. Amen, Brother Jones that people don't know, amen, what to do. Because the people who are sounding the alarm are not the ones that they expect. They expect, amen, those who are in authority to say certain things. Amen, if I was the president of the United States of America, instead of trying to pass legis legislation, I'd call a prayer meeting. Come on and say hallelujah. Amen. In the Bible, anyone remember the story of Hadassah? Anybody 
remember the story of Queen Esther? That's the same person. They just had changed her name. Hallelujah. When Mordecai told her, I got a feeling that deliverance is going to come to the Jews. Now, I don't know if you got that same feeling, but I got a feeling it's not going to be like this always. It's not going to be like this always. I know that my deliverance is here. Amen. If you know God is a strong deliverer, come on and praise the Lord. Her name was Hadassah. We know her as Esther. Said Esther. Yes. Hallelujah. Deliverance is going to come to our people. Hallelujah. Whether it come through you or it come through somebody Amen. else. Amen. And how do you know God going to give his will? His, 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 his. Yes. Hallelujah. You can sit here and act like, Amen. God can't do it without you. Yes. But I come to tell you, if I fall dead right now, the word of God still will go forth. Yes. Come on and say hallelujah. But when I was called to preach, there was a fear that came over me. And the late Bishop E. Lies Samuel Green, my father in the gospel and the establishmentarian of this ministry, we was right over there at 252 James Street. Hallelujah. We were in the basement of his house. Amen. Where I delivered my initial sermon. Well, the month that he had me in preparation. Hallelujah for his sermon, my sermon to be preached. Amen. Sister Beverly, he was up preaching for Romans chapter 6. Hallelujah. And he got to about the fourth verse. Amen. And then stopped in the middle of the sermon, passed the mic to me, and said, Minister McCoy, go finish the rest of the sermon. You talking about something. Hallelujah. You better be ready. Look at the neighbor. Say, I'm about to pass the mic. Come on and say, Hallelujah. Wrong person. 
There are some people seeking to the wrong place. Because you don't know what season it is. So, amen. Yes, he might be a preacher, but he's not your God. Yes, he might be the president, but he's not your king. Yes, he might be the police, but he's not your protector. What I need, I'm going to God. Is there anybody going to ask God for what they want? Wrap your arms around them and love them and let us know 
they improve this. Positive change. I keep repeating this because I want you to realize this behind you. There are eight things. Eight is the number of beginning. Somebody thank God for negativity being your past. Procrastination in my past. Self-doubt in my past. Toxicity in my past. The fear of failure in my past. Unhealthy habits in my past. Comparison in my past. Clutter is in my past. You say, well, it's not all past. Well, I'm going to help you get, it, uh, get rid of it today. How many realize that this week, the whole world is going to be celebrating what they call St. Patrick's Day. God. Hallelujah. Some of y'all already got your green outfit on. Hey man, you got your green attire. You got, hey man, you got your food color and getting ready. Hey man, somebody say hallelujah. See, when it comes to St. Patrick, the true story is even more exciting than the legend. In other words, you shouldn't be looking for a leprechaun, but you should be looking for the power of the Almighty God. Come on, let's say hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for the mystery. And don't get caught up in a myth. The facts are far better, amen, than the fable. The day that belongs to St. Patrick has become about leprechauns, about shamrocks, and then pots of gold and green. I know this is the Northeast, and I know y'all like the Boston Celtics. Come on and say hallelujah. I know there are things that excite you, but I come to tell you your whole got to be built on Jesus. Somebody forget those things which are behind. Come on and press. It's there. Let somebody tell you about a lucky charm. It's there. Somebody telling you about a pile of gold. I come to tell you what the real deal is. Your name is Jesus. Anybody ever been to Chicago? 
Anybody realize that this time of the year in Chicago ain't no time to be putting up in the water? Come on, check out the blue. Hey man, the water ain't clean. Now this is the government. In order to celebrate St. Patrick, they gonna take some top secret dye. Now what top secret is about that? Hallelujah! If you put dye in the water, hey man, and the fish are in the water, you put dye in the water. And there's some people who drink it out of the water. That's why you can't put your trust in man. You gotta put your trust in God. So when they say they're trying to help you, it's all a smoke screen. When they say they're trying to help you, it's all in there something short of reality. But I found out that all of my help, all of my help, it comes from the Lord. Family 
were in the church, but I still was lost and taken away as a prisoner. Are y'all listening on today? Come on and say hallelujah. Go with me with Mark chapter 7. And verse number 7, the Bible said, How be it? In vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. There are folk who are religious. They got the biggest churches in New Haven. They got the most expensive, amen, schools. Hallelujah. How many realize that there were times when the Catholic said in confession, let me back up here. Don't want to make presumption. Has anybody been raised in a Catholic tradition? And then where at a certain age you have to make a confession. Come on and say hallelujah. Come on and say the Lord. The Catholics, amen, have been used by God to proclaim his message throughout the whole world. If you go to Italy, they got a place on the booth that's called the Vatican. And the Vatican is his own country. Hallelujah, nobody can go there unless the Pope sticks out his scepter and allow him. Hallelujah, what a great Catholic that's right here, amen, in New Haven. Hallelujah. Excuse me, in the, the Northeast. Uh, hallelujah. If you go to Wallingford, that's where all the Kennedy's children uh, and then they went to school there. But when John Kennedy came before the Pope, uh, they were worried about him getting on his knees uh, and crawling like every good Catholic will. Uh, but what I come to tell you, uh, I'm not afraid of the Pope. Uh, I give God the glory uh, for any man. Uh, but if the Pope tells me uh, that it's good to get drunk uh, on St. Patrick's Day uh, because it's a celebration, look at your neighbor and say, that's tradition, that's tradition. Clap your hands and say, Lord, is there anybody know from your job? They're going to decorate the place in green. They're going to not only put green down, amen, in the river, but they're going to put it in your cup. That's why you got to be careful who you hang around with. How many people folk going to try it? They're going to say, oh, it's St. Patrick's Day. They're going to make a cake. Hallelujah, if they make a cake, you better be careful. Because they're going to put stuff in the cake. They're going to try to celebrate their tradition. But I found out I can't be like the Hebrew boys. Somebody thank God for Shadrach, Meshach, and a Pinty Go. Come on and say, Hallelujah. And we realize what the tradition is. But I know the truth. I've been raised that I don't eat certain things. I've been raised that I don't do certain things. And the church of the living God. God is asking you a question. Will you follow the tradition of men? Or will you walk in the truth of God? If you know you don't walk in truth, give God some glory. Amen. In order to walk in the tradition of men, you got to lay aside the commandment of God. As cool as it is. Don't you know folk won't go to church, but they go into the parade. Look at your neighbor and say, he ain't talking about you. Come on and say, hallelujah. You hold the tradition of men. The washing of pots and cups. And then when I tell you what you got to wear in God's house, and then to be decent. When I tell you what is holy in God's house, the first day you come back, it don't take all that. But I see you out there with your green leprechaun hat. I, I see you walking around with your clothes on I, and your sanctified self. I, look at the devil and say, he still ain't talking about you. I, come on and say, hallelujah. And then folks do whatever they want to do. I, and then when it comes to their job, but it's a tradition of men. I, but I come by to tell you, this is the year of the ask. Ask God. Do you want me to trust in a leprechaun? Ask God. Do you want me to follow the ways of men? Ask God. Should I separate from this ring and give you glory? Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say glory. Amen. Watching the pots and cups. 
and many other such like things he do. And he said unto them, look at the neighbors that God talking now. Full well, you reject the commandment of God that you might keep your own tradition. This week is a week of self-examination. This week is a week of self-evaluation. If I had time, I'd go back and remind you of what St. Patrick said. I am a sinner, and I'm the least of all believers. Yes. In other words, he was saying, God, I realize there's nothing to me. My family yes. might be in the church, yes. but I realize I'm not where I should be. Yes. And I realize that I'm in the condition that I am in yes. because of God's will. Yes. Well, the story go like this, Mother Riley. Hallelujah, God will allow them uh, to take him to be in prison uh, as a slave to another country. And when he got there, he started giving God true praise. Uh, yeah. And then how many you realize uh, and then that God brought your ancestors uh, from another country? Uh, and we were not doing what we should do there. But God brought us here. And now that we are here, I'm not going to give praise to a If God is 
your father and he has a bride. Do you know what your bride, uh, what his bride is? What your mother is? It's the church. We are the bride of Christ. Amen. If you're going to get to heaven, you got to be birthed in the church. Yeah. Come on and say hallelujah. Come on and say glory. See, if you don't understand this, you're going to mess up and think that something is wrong. Yes, yes. I'm trying to nurture you. Amen. If you don't understand Caesar, you're going to be back up my little grandson. You're going to be packing on stuff and ain't nothing coming out of it. Amen. That. But there's something in there that can give you an understanding. And then look at your neighbor and say, I am your blessing. I am you have to give up some glory and say hallelujah. Honor your father. Honor your mother. She may be a blow. Every head bow, all eyes closed. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I have asked you. You have given. Yes, Lord, I ask for this audience. And you've given us this audience. God, you sent them all in. You're bringing them in. Oh God, from the inside out. And I give you glory and praise. I give you honor. Yeah. Lord, you honor the request and the prayer of your saints. Oh God, but I realize that there's more in the store. I realize that we're in a better place. Amen. But greater is coming. Yeah. Oh God, as we continue to seek you. Lord, let us seek you early while you may be found. Oh God, we bind every spirit of tradition. Oh God, everybody that's locked in yesterday, God, I pray for release right now. In the name of Jesus, God, I pray for a new understanding. And I give you glory and praise. This is the Lord's already done to you in Jesus' name.
But if you ask God for what to put in your body, he's going to show you something. Uh, that's going to help you. Come on and say hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on and say glory.